Okay, question four um, is an integration question. It's given us dy by dx, and it wants us to go back to the original curve. So if we would, if we integrated this, um, we would be able to have what y was equal to. We can't do it straight away because we've got brackets, so we need to expand the brackets first. So if we do, we're going to get 5x root x take away 10x. Now we can't integrate x root x either, but we can change it into index form. If we think about 5x as a power of 1 and root x as a power of as x to the half, if we group this together, we're going to get, we, we add the powers, so we're going to get 5x to the 3 over 2. So dy by dx can be changed to 5x to the 3 over 2 take away 10x. And now we can integrate it. When we integrate, we add 1 to the power, so it's going to be 5 over 2, and we divide by the new power. We divide by 5 over 2, which is the same as timesing by 2 over 5. I'll tidy this up in a minute. For this one, we're going to get 10x squared, add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. And we're going to get a constant of integration, a c, or you might use a k. The 5's obviously cancel, so we've now got 2x to the 5 over 2, take away, and the 10 and the 5 here, sorry, the 10 and the 2 here can be cancelled to 5x squared. But that's not the full equation. We need to know what this c value is, and that's why in the question they told us that a point on the line was 411. So if we substitute 411 in now, we'll hopefully be able to work out what c is. So we've got 11 is equal to 2 lots of 4 to the power of 5 over 2 minus 5 lots of 4 squared plus c. 4 to the power of 5 over 2 is 2 to the power of 5, which is 32. So we've got two 32s, which is 64. Take away eight, 80, 16 times five, yeah. Take away 80 plus C. So 11 is equal to negative 20, negative 16 plus C. And so C is equal to 27. So the final answer, y is equal to 2x to the power of 5 over 2, take away 5x squared, plus 27.